Hello everybody. Hello Lido. This is Garcinia Intermedia, aka the lemon drop. I'll just put this down here. You can see them dropping on the ground. Um I don't think I've ever done a video on these when they're fully ripe and flush. But I have been munching on these so much lately. Look how beautiful they are. I'll try and insert a couple of photos that I've taken over the last few months because they're just I've just been snacking on tons of these. So you just do this. This is the tree. We're at like oh my goodness, what are we at? Uh, three meters? Two and a half. So you just Pop it in your mouth, it's the skin, and you do this. It's a bit gross, but to some. You just spit the seed out and squeeze that. And then you give the rest. Oh, you don't want it. Come on. Munched. So, back to the tree. Um, there's another decent sized one there. They never get, let's get a little bit bigger. They never, maybe double that size. I've never had one the size of a golf ball. They're always a little bit smaller than a golf ball. Um, what else? The more orange they are, the sweeter they are. And, uh, this is my what fourth crop. Fruiting season is a long, long season. Like I've been eating these. See that one? I'll leave that on. Oh, here's that right one. I've been leaving these on the tree for. Oh, see, there's another one fell down, and another one. This is a nice orange one. So they do have one seed or two seeds, quite large. So this is like, um, you pop it in your mouth, you suck it, you suck the flesh around the skin and the seed, and then you spit it out. So. Someone had two. So there's not much to it at all, but they're just delicious. And um, I had a disappoint, love-hate relationship with these. So when I first got them and they started fruiting, I was so excited, which I documented on my Instagram and YouTube like two years ago. And then um, they weren't very sweet. They were like 60, 70% sour. 30-40% sweet, but now they've changed. So now this is the uh, what second year of fruiting? Third year of fruiting? And they're like 60-70% sweet, 30-40% sour. So just wait till they get orange. The darker orange, the sweeter. But they're just so delicious now. Um Early summer, I did get a couple that had fruit flies, so there was some worms, some larvae in there, which was a problem because, you know, you're not gonna dig out worms from these because they're so small. But ever since then, I haven't had any worms or fruit fly, right? It's just delicious. Um, the flavor to me is like. Ten percent guava, ten percent purple mangosteen, ten percent achacha, and the rest of it is like this pineapple, mango, 
pawpaw lemon. Uh, yeah, lemon, not lime. Um, yeah, they're just good. They're good, they're good. Like I said, I've been eating these for like... How long, Ludo? Two months? And... I walk out, do some gardening. I stand here, I grab a few of the ripe ones. Occasionally a few of the bigger ones will drop on the ground. I'll pick them up if they're not, you know, looking all nasty. But... See, that one's a bit dirty. It's not getting you. That one? Yeah. You're going in. And then, um, yeah, I'll stand here for literally three minutes and just pop, 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 pop. I'll have like ten. I'll spit the seeds out. You'll see like dried up seeds. See, those are the ones that I've just spat out. And then you just move on. They're just such a nice, nice, quick, tart, sweet, tart fruit. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Growing climate, subtropical here, no problems. So my winters get down to a low of like five to like eight on the coldest couple nights of winter a year. I think that's like 40 something degrees Fahrenheit and no problem. No problem. It'll just continue to grow quite hardy. I would say the hardiness is maybe a little less than the achacha or almost identical very very strong uh, this is the achacha um yeah so i've fallen back in love with this tree okay and look at our ball look at this i mean hello hello delish Okay, Garcinias. What do we got? Wareni. Garcinia Wareni. This is the Australian native. Not doing so well since I transplanted it because I disturbed the long taproot. A lot of Garcinias have that long taproot that does not like to be disturbed. Get in focus. See, there's a baby leaf there. So, she'll do alright. Hopefully she'll do alright. Um, no, you can't have any, Lido. Leave it. Um, that's my imbe, which has died and come back again. I've got two other little ones which I'm going to put there. Let me give you a look at this whole tree. So that's the lemon drop. This is the... Let me put that down. This is the other... This was supposed to be Bakupari, but turned out to be just another lemon drop, I think. And um, there's a bunch of baby fruit there. So this one, there we go, there's a couple there. Pretty much the same thing. Supposed to be different, but they've named it wrong. Somehow there was a mix-up. Um, that's what I was going to say. These have been fruiting, the lemon drop, for months. I'm talking... Yes, Kona, you want to be on camera? Look at this, what I just saw. See those tiny little green buds there? Those buds are the new flowers. Yeah, you will see them on that one too. So those are flowers that are going to open up within the next few weeks. So I've been eating these for like, what? Two months and let's see Cone is eating now <laughs> and looks like I'm gonna just continue so it was like summer is it even spring maybe even in spring I was eating these no summer so s end of spring summer autumn I mean we're gonna be into winter and I'm still gonna be eating these so the season the eating season is extremely long um what do we got here that is the yellow. Um, no fruit. Gangly thing. Couldn't stand on its own when I bought it. Um, it is a seedling. 
and obviously not the greatest with all the shelter around so it doesn't have as much sun as it needs a lot of these garcinias need sun so this one i'll just call it lemon drop two it used so like last year last year this one had a bunch of fruit obviously not as much as now and that one had very few now i've had i think i've eaten two off this the whole year and obviously i've eaten like i don't know at least a hundred of this one but see the shade it's literally getting nothing. So my Kwai Mok here is a Kwai Mok. The Kwai Mok has taken all of the sunlight. And then my lemon myrtle has taken more of the sunlight. So this poor mangosteen. I was actually considering grafting something else onto this one because it's the same as this one. But now it's not getting any sun at all. So I'm thinking I might just leave it. Um, what else? Okay, I'll show you what uh, the other glass thing is I've got in the nursery, greenhouse. Okay, this is the greenhouse. This is how we're looking. Excuse the noise. Planted some lettuce, lettuce, some cabbages, some, I can't remember, wombok. Not bombok, bok choy. Oh yeah, whatever, the different kind of lettuce. And coriander, basil, spring onions, chilies. Um, I forgot what you are. That different type of basil, the mint basil one. And then some Italian parsley and some chives. And that is the Oh, what is that one? Sarasop. Um, okay. Garcinia, Garcinia. I'll show you the grafted ones. This is the Achacha. This is a, supposed to be a superior Achacha. Larger fruit, sweeter fruit. These are the new leaves. I'm happy. When, I'm very happy when I get a leaf like that, and then the new leaves come out, and the new leaves are double the size. That is a good sign. That you're doing it right. So it is, yeah, an achacha on an achacha, a fruiting achacha on a different achacha rootstock. So that's the graft union there. Um, I think it was a seven year old achacha, he told me. <sighs> what is this? This is the Mame Americana, not a Dracinia, sorry. Macrophylla. I'm having a yellowing issue, which I've been fertilizing um, on this one as well. It was here, I gave it some fertilizer and it just mashed out these new leaves, but then they came out still semi-yellow, which is uh, annoying. Um, this is a lox. Um, that is the graft, a different kind of graft there nice big healthy leaves i've been getting some scale you see these black spots so annoying so i've been scraping those off um lindero these are the baby ones if you watched my old nursery video this is the peruvian um that's the squat behind there they're growing not really doing much What's that one? Another macrophylla. Um, we've got the button mangosteen, which has died, or dying, I should say. So this had two little leaves on the top, two tiny leaves, and they were there for about six months and then fell off. This is the original with a leaf, but I'm just keeping it, but I'm pretty sure it's dead now. But it's still green, so I'm just watering it, hoping, hoping it'll bounce back. Um, this one is the pumpkin. This one had a lot of scale, you see? Um, I need to come through again and do another cleanup of this scale. So annoying. Um, Gardneriana. And for Bessie, look at that one. 
terrible growth. This one lost a lot of leaves. I repotted it, gave it some more fertilizer, and now it's shooting out one, two, three more branches. Hopefully that'll be okay. Um, this is my other locks. Grafted. Where's the graft? There's the graft there. Um, yeah, that's the new leaf. Beautiful, big, healthy leaves. Um, um, any other garcinias? I think that's about it. So I have a ton that I lost. A ton. I'm talking 20 baby ones. Um, thankfully, the rare ones held on. So like the pumpkin, the squat, the Peruvian, um, Gardneriana. You know, a few of these more rare ones um, I've held on. I've lost two of my grafted ones, um, which were so annoying because um, rats came and chewed, literally chewed half of the trunk of the main one out, which is so, so frustrating to me. So you'll see my nursery. You see that hole there? That is where the bloody rats come in, those bastards. Um, anyway, such is life. You gotta, you lose some, you win some. Oh, actually, I do have a bunch more Garcinias, but these are all the achachas. Hi, cha cha. Oh, fill to the next level. A cha cha, a cha cha, more a cha cha. Look at these ones. I just, I threw these in the pot. I mean, how many is in there? 20? They're so hardy. Just throw them. I put a base in because they like water. And um, yeah, so these are all a cha chas. And then I've got another batch of a cha chas out here. I don't know if you can even see that. I throw them out, but I'm not buying any more now. I mean, I buy them to eat, but I don't. I just felt guilty throwing away the seeds, so that's why I just planted them all. You just literally throw them in. Actually, I'll show you these. This is what I've done here. These are some ciabatta carbs I've been eating, and I've just been spitting the seeds in here, and now they're all popping up. I don't even know which ones they are, but when they get a bit bigger, I'll just I'll be able to tell from the leaves what they are. Um, yeah, okay. Ciao guys. Oh, I'll tell you, when I lost all so many of my plants, I even lost a lot of my jabaticabas as well. Um, I repotted a whole bunch before winter and I used some coconut core, uh, what was the other one? Peat moss. I never ever used peat moss in my soil before and yeah, a ton of them died over winter. And I've grown a ton over winter, no problem. So, I think the peat moss was a problem. I don't know how or why. Then it was the rats, and then my dogs got in here and knocked a few off, and then, yeah. So it's been an ongoing struggle. But, you know, that is the life we lead. That's gardening folk. Okay, ciao, this is too long now. Ciao, ciao.